before year's end, the names Laurel and Hardy blazed from the screen, co-stars at last in Putting Pants on Philip, the first film built to the talents of Stanley and Oliver. The plot was supremely simple. Uncle Ollie had just met nephew Stan at the boat. Stan is visiting from Scotland, and the attention attracted by his kilts mightily embarrasses Natty Hardy, one of the 10 best dressed men in Upper Sandusky. Walk behind me, says Oliver, far behind. Uncle Ollie pleads with a rapidly growing crowd to disperse. With Hardy in the role of a sport, and Laurel as, of all unthinkable things, a lady chaser, putting pants on Philip differs from the later Laurel and Hardy films, for Stan and Oliver had yet to invent the bumbling, derby-hatted characters that were to make them world famous. Years later, when his career had ended, Stan Laurel was to name this his favorite comedy. <laughs> Hardy were old pros who, in hundreds of pictures, had thoroughly learned the exacting job of being silent screen comedians. Laurel was, in addition, a comedy innovator, and many of Stan and Oliver's best gags were to originate with him. They worked without pretension and for the moment, little dreaming that their comedy would continue to delight audiences more than 20 years after the cameras stopped grinding and the Klieg lights flickered out. Oliver dashes toward a building which residents of the Los Angeles area have doubtless already recognized as the Culver City Hotel. Like so many other Hal Roach comedies, Philip was shot with an eye to economy just a block or two from the studio itself. What's all the excitement about, wonders Hardy. The director of this first Laurel and Hardy starring comedy was Clyde Bruckman, a master of the sight gag, who was also to direct Harold Lloyd. The cameraman was George Stevens, famous today as the producer-director of Shane, Giant, and the greatest story ever told.
says Uncle Lolly. Let me show you how. Just an old Scottish custom, says Stanley. Just an old American custom, says Oliver. <laughs> 